So this is Nathan Peters, he's an anaesthetist at Wesley Anesthesia and he's going to be talking to us a little bit about the BIS monitor and awareness under anaesthesia. So, because it's a really common concern that a lot of people have that they might be awake during anaesthetic and so Nathan's going to talk a little bit about how he can ensure that you're definitely asleep. Yeah. Okay, over to you. Thanks Patrick. Yeah, so it is, a, it is a common question and something we can definitely put your mind at ease about today. Uh, we use lots of different uh, tools to ensure that you're unconscious for your procedure. The first one is that we just keep a very close eye on you while you're asleep. Uh, the second one is that we use the other monitors that we have, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your breathing. And then we do have specialised tools as well, like the BIS monitor. And that's a monitor that looks at your brain waves and interprets your brain waves and tells us how unconscious you really are. And we have targets that we aim for to ensure that you're deeply unconscious for your procedure. So Nathan, can you, uh, can you show us through some of the monitors quickly? And then maybe what you might do is you might look specifically at the BIS monitor. Yeah, sure. So uh, this is our main monitoring screen. On this screen, we've got, your, we've got a heart rate. Uh, this is the oxygen percentage. So in this person, it's 100%. We also have other gas uh, analysis that we use. So it's carbon dioxide. And uh, that's the main monitoring screen that we keep. And so maybe, maybe tell us about the MAC and how you use that. Yeah, so the MAC is a processed uh, value relating to the inhalation of anaesthetic gases that we use. And they're the really powerful uh, gases that make you unconscious for your procedure. And so the little module here uh, samples a bit of the gas that you breathe out. And it's smart enough to tell us what the percentage of that is. And if you're breathing it in and breathing it out, and we can measure it on the screen, then we know you're definitely getting it. Yep, okay. And then what about some of the other monitors? So for instance, the BIS monitor, if you could maybe take us through that. Yeah, so the BIS monitor is this smaller module down here, and it connects to a couple of little Velcro sticky pads on your forehead. And uh, what you can see on this patient, when we applied it before they went to sleep, the number sits close to 100. So 100 is where you're awake. And then during the anaesthetic, while you're unconscious, it drifts down to between 60 and 40, and that's the ideal range that we're after. Uh, if it goes a bit lower than 40, then we might need to wind things off a little bit. Uh, but generally, less than 60 is the risk of awareness is exceedingly rare. Okay. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, Pat. This monitor is a uh, adhesive device that sticks to your forehead. Uh, it's got four little dots, and on the back of those dots, uh, a little bit of adhesive Velcro-like material. You open it up. Side, you can see the little dots, and this is the plug that plugs into the monitor itself. There you go, one, two, three, four. And I'll show you the other side to give you a bit of an idea of what they look like. This is a bit of gel and a bit of a foam Velcro like substance there. And so, what does that measure? So, it, it, how does it work? It measures the electrical activity of your brain, which in medical terms is called your EEG, and then the device um, interprets it and modifies it to give us an idea of how active electrically your brain is. So Nathan, um, what's the incidence of awareness under anaesthesia using these techniques? Yeah, so it's extremely rare. Uh, some of the literature quotes one in 10,000 to 20,000 people, uh, and that's in the setting of planned elective surgery when we've got everything ready to go and uh, everyone's all 